Hi, this is Kathy. Welcome to Craft with Kathy. Or should we just call this late night chalking? Late night chalking and talking? Late night chalking and talking and inking, I guess, for tonight. I'm going to add this little scene to um, a little shirt. It's kind of like a t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. For someone who is pretty much unwavering in her belief in herself and has shared that with a lot of the women in her life, helping them be strong and helping them to believe in themselves. I'm coming at you from the suburbs west of Chicago. If you want to take a moment and say hello, that would be wonderful. If you have any questions or suggestions as we go along, please feel free to um, just drop them in the comments and I'll answer when I see them. If I don't see them while we're live, I'll get back to you later. So I'm going to use what's called a transfer. It's kind of like a fabric-like stencil, if you will. It's made of vinyl, which is the teal, and silk screen, which we're seeing through to the white backing. And because of the silk screen, we get very high definition and a very nice quality to whatever it's used on. And these transfers can be used on wood, metal, ink, I'm sorry, as I'm reaching for the ink, right? Wood, metal, glass, um, trying to think what else have I used them on um, chalkboard dry erase pretty much any hard surface and when we use chalk paste um, the design is removable pretty much almost on all surfaces wood it might be a little bit of an issue occasionally um, if we use ink which I'm going to use on this shirt our inks are permanent and need to be heat set and the inks are great for fabric or like ceramics or things like that so I'm going to take a quick peek of my at my ink. I wasn't sure if I had this open before. Yes, I did. Okay. So let me kind of get this out of the way. Because the inks are permanent, you always want to make sure hands are clean before you move or adjust or change your fabric or whatever. So uh, let me open up the copper over here. And I need to give that a little stir. Okay, that looks good. Whoops. And there I got ink on my fingers. Let me grab. Oh, paper towel's fine. A wet paper towel. Usually I have, if I'm using ink, I'll do, um, I'll have a baby wipe or something around just in case to keep my fingers clean. Anyway, so I thought this, putting this saying on a shirt would be the epitome of what this lady stands for and is. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to remove the transfer from its backing paper. And normally I fuzz my transfers before I put them on something, but as I'm going, putting this on fabric, I don't want to fuzz it because I'm actually laying it on fabric while it will pick up plenty of fuzz. And I want, an, I want a nice, strong adhesion to my fabric. And then I'm just going to press it down, make sure there's no air bubbles underneath. Because the wording comes so close to the end, I'm going to use, um, we have placement tape that I happen to be out of right now, so I'm going to use um, painter's tape on the edge just so that I don't inadvertently run off my transfer and onto the fabric. And our ink is much the same as our chalk other than having to be heat set. The application is the same. 
you apply it to the transfer with a squeegee and squeeze it, squeeze it, yeah, squeeze it, you squeeze it, you squeeze it through the silk screen. And that's pretty much there as all to it. I'm going to use the copper for the BU and then fawn um, for the rest of the wording. Ooh, I've really got this kind of gooey. I think I've got way too much ink here, but that's fine. I could scrape off what I don't need and return it back to the jar. Normally I would actually apply this coming towards myself, but I couldn't get um, my shirt and everything fully on camera, so I had to angle it a little bit. So I'm a little bit it's a little bit awkward for me there. Um, this happens to be an ink mat, which is adhesive, and the purpose behind it Oh, that's strange. I'm hearing a little beep beep. I thought it was my phone. The purpose behind it is so that the ink doesn't bleed through to the other side of the shirt. So not only does it hold it nice and still for you and remove any wrinkles, but it also um, protects the ink from going through to the other side. Now I'm going to apply my fawn, being careful not to go over where I've already applied the copper. See, good thing I put the tape there, right? I'm going to squeegee you off any excess here and make sure I don't have any lines. I want to make sure I've got my L nice and covered there. This looks good. Now the real trick with ink is making sure that you have no ink on your fingers when you um, remove the transfer. So I always like to do a quick walk and clean up my hands before I remove the transfer. Because if you have any on your fingers, you don't want to smudge the surface that you're using. Any quilters out there, I think this would be a wonderful application to quilting squares. Some designs and some wording I think could make a truly unique quilt. I've never really, um, I've done a little applique. I haven't truly, truly quilted, but I've always thought it was something I'd like to learn someday, right? So I'm going to remove the tape first. Get that out of the way. And then I'm going to lift up my transfer. You always want to lift top to bottom, left to right. You never want to pick it up on an angle. You could lift the corners, but you don't want to pull on the corners because you don't want to inadvertently stretch the transfer. It is like fabric. Okay, this looks pretty good, except the E needs a little more copper. And I'm seeing the O isn't quite right. So I'm going to lay this back down and go back over my copper words. Ooh, I did scoop up an awful lot of ink and I probably could really use that tape on the edge. It takes a little bit for the ink to absorb into the fabric and I guess I probably didn't press down hard enough when I started here. clean fingers. Let's take another look. Not all the way through, through my E. I guess I'm doing this a little bit too gingerly. There we go. 
it's more like the normal pressure that I would use and on my fingers. There you go. What do you think? Be you. Believe in yourself. Thank you for watching. See you soon.